So here we are then, back with F1 2021 and part 2 of my immersive driver career mode with Alpine Racing. And today we've got the second Grand Prix of the season in Spain. Thank you for the incredible support on part 1. You can see uh, Fernando Alonso there just over the computer. Um, but last time it didn't exactly go to plan, did it, with us retiring from the race with an ERS issue. Apparently it has been fixed uh, by the team. I am a little bit concerned and a little bit worried that uh, it's potentially a glitch and it, it's not very balanced and we're going to get two laps into this Grand Prix and, and break down, but hopefully it is just one of those things. Um, so let's get into the, the, the Grand Prix and see how we get on in qualifying. Well, we come up to the line, first lap flying lap of the weekend at 118.3 and that's probably not going to be enough to get through Q2 I think there's a lot of time in that lap but uh, just getting a little bit of oversteer at the moment which is a pity but I'm hoping that we can eat it out and well I mean that is just a disaster track extending there and well Gonna have to come in and put a new set of tyres on, and there's only one lap of fuel. Go remaining. again. Well, here we come up for our second lap on the same tyres, up to 14th now. Your so last that moved you up should to be enough to get through. But we have got a little bit of time if we need to bolt on a new set of tyres and hopefully uh, be in for Q2. Well, here we come up to the line. We need it to be good, and it was good, and we're through in 13th position. Well, that'll, that'll settle the nerves a little bit. That was a, a pretty decent lap right at the death there. And it's a good job we went out on fresh tyres. And uh, looking at that, Fernando Alonso in 10th there. We will get a five-place grid, uh, grid penalty because of the fact we got a new gearbox because ours was pretty much shot. Uh, after the last Grand Prix so maybe a little bit of extra time on the table but remember Fernando Alonso at his home Grand Prix is always probably going to have a bit of an advantage well around the final corner we come for our first lap in Q2 what's it going to be? it's a 117.8 which is 4 tenths off Lance Stroll at the moment. I don't think that's too bad. Um, these are on the, the set of tyres that we set our fastest time in Q1 on, so... There's only one lap of fuel remaining. You know, there's still plenty of performance in that. And uh, hopefully, we, when we bolt on the new set of tyres, we will see that performance come to fruition. Up to the line, we're five tenths quicker. What's it going to be as we come across? Well, I think we're faster than Fernando, but I think it is P11 in the end, which is a shame because with the five place grid penalty, that will be 16th on the grid for tomorrow. But we do out qualify Fernando Alonso very marginally. Don't make it through to the top 10 shootout, and once again. Uh, we're both out in Q3, uh, Q2. Fernando Alonso is going to be in the best position possible in P11 there. But uh, we have a five-place grid penalty dropping down to 16th. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what we can come up with in the Grand Prix tomorrow. The Spanish Grand Prix has been a permanent fixture on the Formula One calendar for over 30 years now, and for good reason. Do you remember Michael Schumacher's absolute dominance here in that rain-soaked Grand Prix in 1996? That day he took his first ever victory for Ferrari, and we've had many more iconic moments since. It's a sellout crowd of 140,000 here today as we await lights out for the 730-meter sprint down to Turn 1 at this 2.9-mile racetrack. 
overtaking is challenging through these 16 corners, but there's still a lot of high speed excitement to be found, including the flat out turn three and the terrifying blind right of turn nine. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? Well, from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the rundown into Turn 1. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Norris, Sergio Perez, and Ricardo, Leclerc, Vettel, Sainz, and Lance Stroll, Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Pierre Gasly, and Raikkonen. Giovinazzi, the captain, they've taken a grid penalty. Mick Schumacher and George Russell. Mazepin and Nicholas Latifi. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. So here we go then, down on the track. I don't think we particularly need to take uh, much extra fuel on board, if any, to be honest. Um, what I am going to do is switch to the uh, medium tyres, uh, as they're a little bit more of a consistent race tyre, and very much take them soft tyres towards the end of the Grand Prix. Um, when do we want to do that? Um, I mean, yeah, we do have a a little window. I mean, taking that all the way up to the end, that's going to be much slower. So, yeah, let's uh, let's go for about seven laps and hope for the best. That should be pretty good. So let's get into it and hope that we actually make it that far this time. Okay, our system checks are good. We need to stay in formation and start bringing the car up to temperature, please. Get some load into the tyres and work the brakes. We want them nice and warm by the end of the lap. Ooh, nearly spun it out there. That would have been a bit embarrassing on the formation lap, but uh, we have got a little bit more pace than these guys in front of us, so hopefully race pace-wise we should be able to get past them. Um, certainly set up nicely in a straight line, got good straight line speed, so I'm really hoping that we can get up to pretty much where Fernando is, I think that's the, that's got to be the, the target here, got to try and get up all the way to Fernando, if we can get into the back end of the points then that is very much a bonus, that's not where our team is at at the moment, I don't think, you know, unless there's a safety car or something similar. I don't really see that being a possibility today to get into good points, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. It's always interesting, always an opportunity at the start of the Grand Prix. We just need to make sure that we're in the in the correct zone. We need to make sure that we don't lose any of our front wing, anything like that. We just need to fully focus on. Been there, been ready at the start, been ready for a, a good getaway, which we had last time. We had a very good getaway in Australia, in uh, Bahrain, but then took it fairly easy through the first few corners and, and lost a couple of positions. But here we are, we're lining up on the grid, and uh, in theory, our tyres should be some of the warmest tyres on the grid as we're coming up at the end here. But of course, we are starting on the slightly Less grippy medium tyre, hoping to run longer into the race and come back at everybody towards the end on our brand new soft tyres. But here we go, ready for the lights.
Lights out, away we go here in Spain. It's not a bad start off the, the grid, but there was plenty of wheel spin there. And we've got uh, some cars around us as we hurtle towards turn one and George Russell going down the inside. We're just staying out of that, taking it nice and cautiously. Going down the inside of Mick Schumacher here. Don't want to make any contact. We're okay. That'll do. Do very nicely. There's some yellow flags. Caution, the virtual safety car has just been deployed due to a buildup of debris on the track. We've been informed that due to the increasing risks, they're moving from a virtual to a full safety car. Well, safety car deployed. So, that's uh, very interesting. And uh, our first safety car of the series and of the game. And there it is there. I'm wondering whether we come in, stick some hard tyres on and try and go right to the end of the Grand Prix on a set of hard tyres. Now, they may not be as quick, but I think that would be a fairly good tactical decision because you know, uh, yeah, the safety car won't really matter, we'll lose a couple of positions, but should hopefully gain all of that time back. It'll just be a case of holding on to it towards the end. That's the plan anyway. Maybe stick a little bit of extra front wing on to compensate. Interesting. I guess put it on auto because if we have picked up any little feathers of damage, then let's get it done now while the safety car is out. And here we come into the pit lane then. And there we go. So, uh, Nicholas Latifi out of the race. I don't know exactly what happened to him, but uh, I'm sure we will. Find out towards the go, go now. end of the Grand Prix, and we're uh, away. First pit stop of this career mode. Look after these tyres now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Of course, this will take us to the end of the Grand Prix. we got to look after them during the safety car period, make sure that they, they've got enough. Take us through all the way. Well, safety car in this lap, so that is definitely interesting. And now, hopefully, in a position where we can overtake some of these guys. Are we going to get a Brilliant. Nice move. I don't think so. I don't think we're going to get a penalty for that. I'm not entirely sure what happened to Mazepin there, but uh, we're away once again. We're racing. And we're on these tyres all the way to the end now. Well, you join me on lap 7 of this Grand Prix and uh, as you can see we are now into the points uh, this is working out a lot better than I ever expected to be honest with you we could be in for some massive points today if we can keep this on the track keep the tyres in a, in a good window you know we're not particularly fast and well, Mick Schumacher on the soft tyres ahead has managed to stay ahead of us of course you know he's two steps softer than us on those uh, tyres, a little bit of a moment there, but we managed to catch it. And, uh, you know, we are closing in on him, but not quite close enough to pass him yet. And, well, we got uh, Valtteri Bottas behind us. He's going to look to overtake us, but obviously he's going to be 
in for the race victory today and we're currently ahead of him. So that's kind of weird at the moment, but uh, it's going quite well. We've just got to hopefully keep it up. That's the plan at least. And there you go, Schumacher into the pit lane. So here we come. Round the final corner, we have got DRS. And uh, we are now up to fifth position, but here comes Valerie Bottas. He's going to have a look at us. And we're not going to even fight Bottas here, because he is certainly not who we are battling today. Just let him through. And hope to stay in front of as many cars as we can. Sergio Perez is going to pass us for fifth position and uh, well I don't think Ricardo and Leclerc will take that long to get past us either but still eighth place would be a terrific success if we were able to hold on, on to it but we'll just have to see There goes Leclerc. Okay, some information on Bottas. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. And there goes Ricardo. So, you know, all three of those. I was expecting them to go past. We got Signs and Gasly a couple of seconds behind us. I mean, everybody seems to be just so much quicker than us. At this point, but entirely sure why the gap to the car ahead is 6.9 seconds well here comes signs and there goes Vettel and we lose two positions in one Vettel having a look at Carlos signs they make a bit of contact well, this is very, very close. Annoyingly, we seem to have a little bit of an it a gearbox issue there through that corner. Gap to teammate Vettel behind is one point six seconds. Side by side, and we've got Fernando right behind us now. They are still side by side. Surely one of them is going to give in here. Right, some information on Ricardo. They're slowing down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Well, there goes Alonso and Bottas. So, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to score our first points today. Because it's the final lap. And Alonso's through. And, you know, we can't possibly have an incident with him on the final lap of the race as our teammate and at his home Grand Prix. And he has just got that little bit of extra pace pulled away from us here at the end. And as we come around the final corner, we're looking to hold on to 11th place. We come up to the line and we do secure it. But that is a bit of a disappointment. Right, over. Take care of the car on the way in. Well, we get driver of the day. <laughs> the Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? It was a question of right place, right time today. We were looking at an entirely different race before the safety car came out, but they were able to take full advantage. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one. Well, there you go then. That is the end of the Spanish Grand Prix. 11th place, much better than the first Grand Prix where we obviously had our ERS failure. But uh, that early pit stop did backfire in the end. It looked like we were going to get a huge amount of points at one stage. But uh, we just didn't have enough at the end there. 
to compete with Fernando uh, or you know anyone else that, that was around us for that matter. But uh, if you've enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up down below. Let's see if there is uh, anything after the race, uh, interview, anything like that. So that was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. How do you feel these grid penalties are affecting the sport? Oh, I'm not saying that. You gained a lot of positions during the race, didn't you? It wasn't the cleanest race today, was it? Well, thanks anyway. Yeah, I'm not going to answer stupid questions from Claire, but uh, there you go. We are Whoa. all done and dusted. And uh, hopefully we get some new R&D stuff. That's got to be the game that we have to play now and there you go they have improved certain things um, but uh, you know we are running behind the other teams at the moment looks like we are gonna get some more some okay more in we've had the new parts come through the fabrication process we'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix and there you go we have actually picked up a, a major <coughs> development and you can see wow what a uh, what an upgrade we've had and you know we're, we're heading towards Ferrari Aston Martin and McLaren now and hopefully that means that we will be a little bit more competitive this weekend around Monaco it is always a tough one though so I'm looking forward to that in the next episode if you have enjoyed that give it a big thumbs up down below subscribe for more uh, F1 2021 content. Now, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.